On election night, we want to give Victorians certainty about who will form government. So we do a simple and fast count in each district that gives us an early indication. This is called the two candidate preferred count or two CP count. So what is a two CP count? Before election day, we choose the two candidates we think are most likely to be in the lead after the distribution of preferences in each district. Our choices are based on research and past election results. After we've completed our first preference or primary count for the district on election night, we reset the ballot papers. Then we start the 2CP count, where we distribute the other candidates' preferences to the two candidates we chose for the 2CP count. So if the 2CP count is between candidate A and candidate B, we'll look at all the ballot papers for all other candidates and distribute these to either A or B, depending on who the voter has given the higher preference to. Remember, ballot papers are numbered in order of preference. The voter puts the number one against the candidate they most want to win, then numbers all the other candidates on the ballot paper. So if a voter gives A the number four and B the number three, we'll count that as a vote for B in the 2CP count. Eventually A or B will have more votes distributed to them, meaning we can predict who is likely to win out of A and B. Predicting who will be in the lead is not an exact science, and sometimes we get it wrong. In that case, we may do a corrected 2CP count after election day. Remember, the 2CP count is for information only and doesn't decide who wins the election. That's decided when we finish the count after election night and, if needed, distribute preferences. The candidate who wins will be the one who achieves more than 50% of the votes, either on first preference votes or through the distribution of preferences. You can learn more about counting for both Houses of Parliament on our website at vec.vic.gov.au.